Hey what's going on guys welcome back to the channel today we are going to create an underwater logo animation inside hitfilm express So before we begin, you have to download the video file or provide the link in the description. Just download it and load it inside HitFilm. Also, if you have a custom logo with a transparent background, you can import it inside HitFilm as well. So let's create a new composite shot and I'm going to call this main. With the duration, I'm going to go with 10 seconds long, 1920, 1080, 30 FPS and click on OK. Let's bring in the video file inside the timeline since it's a 4k file we have to scale it down to 50% to match it up with our 1920 by 1080p composition then we are going to go to transform set the opacity to 90% then we're going to apply some effects on this layer so we are going to search for hue saturation and lightness apply it on this layer we controls expand hue saturation I'm actually going to bring this down over here but anyways so we will expand it and go to master and reduce the saturation to negative 100 then I'm going to search for levels histogram apply it on this layer and in levels histogram expand it and we will increase the input black amount to around 0 0.40 alright so once you do that then we can bring in our logo so let's drag in our logo and put it at the top just right click on your logo make composite shot and let's call this logo placeholder so if we at any point decide to change our logo we can easily do that inside this composite shot I'm going to select these two options and click on OK so um, right now you cannot see anything because our logo is black and our background is also black so what we can do is options and set this to checkerboard background All right so our logo is black right now I want to change it to white so I'm going to apply fill color effect on it but if it's already white for you then you don't have to do anything so if we go back so this is our logo and here we can go to transform and scale it down to our liking All right, then I'm going to search for displacement effect and apply it on the logo placeholder expand the displacement and I'm going to set the source layer to our video footage and here we have horizontal displacement and vertical displacement I'm going to set this both to 50 so we you have the displacement going on in our logo based on our video footage All right so then we are going to duplicate our video control D put it at the top I'm going to go to effects. Oh, sorry. I'm going to go to transform and set the opacity to 70%. Right click on the layer, blend, and set this to multiply. Just it will just blend in nicely with our animation. Uh, we can add a new grid layer, and uh, we can rename this to vignette. And I'm going to search for the same effect inside the effects tab we need 1080p and apply it on this layer and expand it and I'm going to change the width uh, let's just change that all right that looks good then we are going to keyframe the uh, the displacement so if you select the displacement effect will keyframe the max horizontal displacement and max vertical displacement so make sure your player is at the very first frame create a keyframe on both the displacement values I'm going to move forward to three seconds create another keyframe by clicking on this icon that says toggle keyframe click on that for both for both horizontal and vertical let's just double click on this to see it in the timeline go to seven seconds again click on the same or you can just copy and paste this over go to the end and uh, you can copy the first two keyframes and paste it so at the first one we can set the horizontal to 300 and vertical to 300 and after that it's going to go to 50 
and it's going to stay like that for up to seven seconds and then from seven to the end it will increase to 300 pixels All right so then we can also animate the opacity of the logo so create a keyframe here set this to zero move to two seconds set this to 100 and go to eight seconds and set this to to the same keyframe so we'll click on the toggle keyframe icon and go to the end and set this to zero all right so let's see these keyframes hit the u key on the keyboard to reveal all the keyframes and you can select all of these and click on the manual bezier icon it's going to smooth out all the animation for you i'm going to hit the u key again to bring up all the layers like that so yeah so there we have it so you can just play around with different settings and maybe you can add some text in there as well apply the displacement effect on it as well and you know create a nice animation out of it finally you can also apply some underwater sound effects you can get those from google easily just add that and your animation will look much better so i hope this video is helpful if it was please do consider liking the video and also subscribing to the channel thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one